Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Kaylee Hollins, Sydney, Australia. Beginning of something greater. I heard the Lord speaking over many hearts. This is not the end, but the beginning of something greater. There are many now more than ever who feel they have missed their opportunity of walking through a certain door of destiny. However, the Lord has been showing me how he is moving right now in the lives of his beloveds. That, that this is a circular motion. He began to show me how Hebrews think in the same way because the Hebrew way of thinking is a heavenly way of thinking. It's not a mindset, but a heart set. As he thinks in his heart, so is he. So if you feel you've missed it, take courage. You'll go around the mountain and not only arrive back to where you started, but the next chapter, the next time, will be greater than the first time. Just as the latter glory is going to be greater than the former glory. The end is not the end, but only the beginning of something even greater. Haggai 2.9 There are many, many times in my life where I felt I missed it, or I made the wrong choice, or I didn't see the truth in that moment. I'll never have an opportunity again, I thought. However, the truth is, the truth is the complete opposite in the kingdom of heaven. Sometimes, sometimes the Lord allows us to walk around a certain mountain or to not see the full picture so that he can prepare us in that season to carry even more of him for his glory. And in that process, our hearts grow and expand in humility to carry even more of his love. I have believed for many years that the next season, the next door in which we stand, it's in a particular season, it's for preparation for our next. We can't skip the process or miss any doors. It's about the journey of maturity, and in that we discover the wonderful mysteries, the wonderful mysteries in Yahweh, that is us in Him, and Him in us. There are never mistakes without purpose. All failures are purposely used to prepare us and to mature us for the next scroll or the next season of destiny, not just for our our early or even our heavenly rewards, but to prepare us, to prepare us and expand our hearts to carry more and more of his love for others, both on earth and in heaven. So take heart, dearly loved ones. No matter how far you feel you have to go to reach your next season or your door of destiny, just remember, you are in the circle of life. There is no end in him. Therefore, there is no beginning in him. You have always been in him, and you will always be, and he will always be in you. Everything he has written about you has been fulfilled in the realm of the Spirit. Keep your gaze on him. Everything will work out in his timing and in his way. Hearts, my heart explodes with praise for him right now. Now and forever, my heart bows in worship. My King and my God, every day I will lift up my praise to your name, and with praise that will last throughout eternity. Lord, you are great and worthy of the highest praise, for there is no end to the discovery of the greatness that surrounds you. Generation after generation will declare more and more of your greatness and declare more and more of your glory. Your magnificent splendor and the miracles of your majesty are my constant meditation. Your awe-inspiring acts and power have everyone talking. I'm telling people everywhere about your excellent greatness. Our hearts bubble over as we celebrate the fame of your marvelous beauty, bringing bliss to our hearts. We shout with ecstatic joy over your breakthrough for us. You are kind and tender-hearted to those who don't deserve it and very patient with people who fail you. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. God, everyone sees your goodness for your tender love is blended into everything we do. Everything you have made will praise you, fulfilling its purpose. And all your godly ones will be found bowing before you. They will tell the world of the lavish splendor of your kingdom and preach about your limitless power. They will demonstrate for all to see your miracles of might and reveal the glorious majesty of your kingdom. You are the Lord who reigns over your never-ending kingdom through all the ages of time and eternity. You are faithful to fulfill every promise you've made. You manifest yourself as kindness in all you do. Weak and feeble ones, you will sustain. Those bent over with burdens, 
with burdens of shame, you will lift up. You have captured our attention, and all eyes look at you. You give what they hunger. You give us what they hunger for just at the right time. When you open your generous hand, it's full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. You are fair and righteous in everything you do. Your love is wrapped into all your works. You draw near to those who call out to you, listening closely, especially when their hearts are true. Every godly one receives even more than they ask for. For you hear what their hearts really long for, and you bring them your saving strength. Psalm 145, 1 through 19. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, may this prayer, may this this passage from Psalms be our prayer. Lord, you are you are never ending. You fulfill your purpose. You are great and worthy to be praised. Lord, we thank you for the splendor, the majesty, the miracles that you bestow on us. Lord, I love how this verse starts. Our hearts explode with praise to you. Lord, may we experience this heart explosion of praise. May our hearts well up. Remembering what you have done for us in the past and what your promises are in the word, God. Lord, may that be our response. Lord, I thank you that you are preparing us for the next season. And we know it will be something even greater. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.